Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Bruce and today I'm going to explain the dangers of isocyanides. Isocyanides are chemicals that activate the curing agent in hardeners that are found in some two-pack paint systems. They are the leading cause of occupational asthma in the UK and are a great danger to any sprayer, painter or workshop employee who comes into regular contact with isocyanides. First and foremost when painting with isocyanides, it is a government regulation that the painter needs to be wearing an air-fed breathing device. This is because when spraying with isocyanides it creates a fine invisible mist that spreads through the air like smoke which renders a standard filter mask useless in stopping isocyanides from entering into the body. We all know that it's annoying having to wear air fed equipment, it can be cumbersome and that with a standard face mask you have so much more manoeuvrability. But there are a lot of consequences involved in not wearing the correct gear. Not only will the worker be more likely to develop asthma, but may not be able to paint again, which could threaten their job. In a case study on the HSC website, it goes over how a paint sprayer had worked in a paint shop for 10 years and was using air fed breathing as usual when painting with isocyanides. However, after spraying, he would routinely open his visor to check on paint coverage and quality, which allowed the overspray that was still in the air to enter his body. This then resulted in asthma and eventually made him unemployable as he was unable to work effectively. There are also consequences for business owners. In another case study, the HSC website explains how a small company decided to erect their own spray booth without the guidance of a specialist. Not only was the spray booth leaking badly into the adjacent work areas, but it also contaminated the air in a factory next door. HSE then prohibited the process and the business ceased to trade. We would fully recommend and endorse every paint shop manager stroke production manager to be familiar with the HSE guidelines on their website. So whether you're a sprayer that is in contact with isocyanides almost every day or whether you are the manager or owner of a company that has a spray booth in the premises, having the correct respiratory equipment and spray booth technology is of extreme importance. There are some standard procedures for the safety of the painters. Anybody working in contact with isocyanides should wear an air fed breathing apparatus at all times. Every user should be trained in the use of air fed breathing and how it should be looked after. Uncontaminated air should be supplied into the mask in sufficient quantities. Paint sprayers should wear overalls and gloves along with eye protection to avoid paint coming in contact with skin and shouldn't raise their visors after spraying as a paint mist is still in the environment. So users should safely leave the spray booth during clearance time. For a full checklist and procedures, click the link in the description to our blog where it is documented. There are two types of air fed masks available, battery powered and air powered. HSC make it clear, again on their website, when an operator is using isocyanides, air powered masks must be used as the air is drawn from a separate source, i.e. a compressor and filtered multiple times before entering into the mask. Battery powered air fed masks are suitable for powder coaters and other non-hazardous applications where the air is drawn from the immediate atmosphere and filtered on the mask. I hope this helps. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.